I'm Kelsey Green and welcome to this month's Hashtag All The Feels. This week's topic reminds me of an episode of Seinfeld. In this particular episode, Frank Costanza was having some issues with high blood pressure. So his doctor advised that every time he feels stressed out to say serenity now, bringing peace and contentment to his situation. This caught on with the rest of the people around him. And by the end of the episode, all the characters were saying serenity now. Man, if only it were that simple to find contentment and peace for our souls. Contentment is something that everyone is looking for, but it is not easily found. Our culture trains us to be constantly longing for the next best thing. Once you attain that sought after technology, car, or gadget, they've already come out with two other versions that are way better than the one that you have. We've all heard the phrase, keeping up with the Joneses, that we have to attain just as much as the person next to us. We have to always be striving for something. After doing this for so long, we create unrest in our hearts and soul, and we gravitate away from contentment in the Lord. However, in Psalm 62, it does a great job of reminding us that true and lasting contentment comes when our soul is at rest in God, regardless of our circumstances or possessions. In this psalm, David speaks of how his soul is waiting in silence and at rest in the Lord, even when he has others come against him from all around. David did not take it upon himself to rectify the situation, but he gave it over to the Lord because he was overcome with contentment inside of himself toward God. But there was this holy trust that God would rise up and defend him. And just as David did, we need to move from simply looking to God to placing our trust in God, having the reassurance that he is the supplier of all of our needs. I've been reading a book lately entitled Soul Keeping by John Ortberg. It has been so thought provoking for me to be conscious of how well I am in tune with the Lord and how my soul is at rest with God. One quote that I find so fitting when talking about contentment John says, surrender is the only way to achieve freedom for your soul. Man, this is a daily reminder for me that I must surrender my will, my restlessness, and my discontentment that I find myself in because I'm striving too much after things that don't bring glory to God. I must place all of these things at the feet of Jesus so that I can experience the freedom and peace and contentment in my life. David also points out at the end of Psalm 62 that God's power and love played a huge part in David feeling that contentment in his soul. In order for us to experience the freedom of genuine contentment, we must understand God's character. If we are to believe that God can bring contentment to our soul, our heart, and our mind, then we have to understand that he has the power and love to follow through with that. The contented life does not come from having just the right circumstances and just the right possessions. Contentment comes from serving and trusting a perfect God. As you examine your own life and see how you line up with Psalm 62, I pray that the Holy Spirit would reveal new and fresh ways where you can have long-lasting contentment in your life.